Witches. Where did the word come from and the false accusations surrounding witches? I've always had this question. Witches, where did the word come from and why was this made up lie about witches and to fear them? You know, in early times, why was it only women targeted? Doing some research, I found the word witch was in Exodus in AC 1250 and a translated term meaning Egyptian midwives that saved the Hebrew newborn sons. The word witch is an old English word. I'm not going to get into the whole witch, Wiccan, what that means. I'm more interested in the evil people that started this fear of witches. And it's really hard to pinpoint exactly who came up with this word witch with the evil meaning behind it. But the word witch was in the Bible. It was in the book of Samuel. And that was somewhere around 931 B.C. and 721 B.C. It says how a witch um, was sought by King Saul to summon the dead. I guess King Saul wanted a witch to contact the dead prophet Samuel to help them defeat an army. And back to Exodus, the Old Testament it says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And it's really hard to find this ignorant or malicious person that started the widespread hysteria. But the hysteria really went wild in the mid-1400s in Europe. Witch hunts started, and women were tortured until they confessed. These women were thought to be in cahoots with this mythological character, the so-called devil, and women, I mean witches, were thought to be filled with lust. There was a publication, The Malice, Maleficum, I think it's called, written in 1486 by two German Dominicans. It's basically a manual on how to figure out if someone was a witch and how to hunt them and interrogate them. But this malice thing did say, and it labeled witchcraft as hearsay, but the churchcraft, the, the churchcraft, <laughs> that's a good name for it, the churches use this guide on detecting witchcraft. A lot of research points to Christianity really um, making witches into an evil form. But witchcraft was also talked about in Homer's Odyssey. Um, monasteries from the 12th to 14th centuries really had a problem with monks having sinful dreams and they blamed this on women, so they came up with this idea that females might be devils or able to transform into a female. And a lot of this looks as if um, horny men that could not contain themselves blamed their lust on women because women were the only target of these witch hunts back then, which I find bizarre because Nostradamus in the 1500s by all means should have been labeled a witch or proper term warlock, um, but they actually called him a prophet or a seer and a physician even though he worked with herbs. Um, but when women worked with herbs or they were prophetic, they were considered evil witches. And in a sense, witches were scapegoats for anything that went wrong, led by a dictatorship, sort of like Hitler. Reginald Scott published The Discovery of Witchcraft in 1584. And he went to say that um, he called the witch or wise woman, but Scott believed that these women were killed or accused of witchcraft. They were innocent, and he blamed the Catholic Church for their made-up false beliefs and superstitions. And this is where I'll stop because my intuition the whole time was really feeling that the men of the church started the false accusations. Um, you know, it's really a crazy world we live in now, um, even though witches don't have to live in fear, but fear still exists in people. It's still out there. People still think... You know, the name witch, ooh, it's scary, and, you know, there's so much fear out there, and the fear, such as these made-up things, such as evil women, were put to keep people stuck in fear, and also to have them as scapegoats. Think about it. You're either in the state of fear or love, and if you're in fear, you can't 
be your higher version of yourself and you can't tap into all of your abilities so of course higher let's just say higher people the higher ups in the government what not that start all this fear want to keep us trapped in it and i'll stop at this thank you